I'm Nick Troutman. And I'm Emily Jackson. And on this episode, we're exploring Oklahoma City for the U.S. Freestyle Kayak Team Trials. Competitive kayaking is something that's really shaped me as a person. It just continues to push Emily further and faster. and She just wants to always stay at that top level. You know, I grew up on the U.S. Freestyle Kayak Team. So being a part of the team is community, is family. So my dad, my brother, my husband, even my youngest brother was out on the water with me several times this week. So to have that kind of support system really helps us perform our best. I know that I have it in me to beat out some of the other competitors. We're hitting the road for Oklahoma. Let's just say a lot of snow this morning. Hopefully it gets warmer as we go west. Where are we going, buddy? Going out to Is mommy competing? Yeah. You're gonna make the US team? Yeah. We just rolled into Oklahoma City. We had the truck and trailer, pulled it across from Tennessee. And we're here at River Sports, which is basically a whitewater park with a ton of other amenities, a ton of action to be had here. Rolled into the parking lots. Actually, we're gonna be camping this week. And what an awesome setup. We're here for the US National Freestyle Kayak Championships. So to be able to park right on site and to be able to just walk out every day and get my training in for the competition is kind of an ideal kayaker's paradise. The first day that we rolled in was actually my birthday, so we ended up going to a pool session with all the local paddlers, and they brought a ton of treats, so we had a ton of cake, a ton of desserts, and just a great way to celebrate arriving here. Well, it's just about 10 o'clock, which means that the pumps turn on, which means training starts, so pretty exciting. Everyone's getting geared up and ready. Obviously, we've got a lot of the best paddlers uh, from around the whole country kind of all coming together for this big event, this big week here in Oklahoma City, and it's kind of the who's who of the freestyle scene in America. There are over 40 people here trying to make the U.S. team, but across all the categories, only 20 people combined will be able to represent the U.S. later this year. I'm actually running the whole event, so I'm on the U.S. Freestyle Kai Committee, so I'm, I'm actually making the whole event happen. You know, I wear a lot of hats. For Nick, this event's a little different. He's already on the team for Team Canada, so he doesn't have to worry about making the team to represent Team USA. So for him, he's really my support crew and system here. He will get to compete as a ghost, so it's really fun for him to try to perform well, but it's more about the training and less about making the team. I think you're better off for the same amount of points to try split split than to do a space split. Okay, I'm just, I'm I think anybody who's been married long enough knows that giving any sort of advice to your significant other can be challenging at times. You'd think after 13 years I would have had that mastered, but I'm still still quite the padwan as giving advice to my wife. The first few days of training, it's definitely like amazing just to see everyone hang out in the eddy, all of our friends and family. Um, as the week progresses, people start feeling the pressure of the event coming on. It gets a little more intense, and you can notice people getting more frustrated when they mess certain things up, and then they get more excited when they have a good ride. Luckily, we're all sharing that. We all have the same goals here. We all want to make the team, and we all want to perform our best. So. As the week progresses, you'll notice people start taking either smaller sessions because they're trying to conserve their energy. But these first few days are just paddle as hard as you can, enjoy time on the water, and then set yourself up for hopefully a very successful weekend. Isn't that cool? They call it a mallard, a mallard duck. After I was done my training session, we loaded up the kids into the car and hit up Bricktown. It was a beautiful canal, ton of history there that I had no clue about. Nick knows how much I just love good food. So to be able to have a family dinner at Bourbon Street Cafe and spoil myself, you know, it's a big week, so I gotta get my protein in with lobster and filet, which is something I don't get to do very often, and it was delicious. So guys, I just pulled up the attraction pass and there's a whole bunch of stuff for us to do. So what do you guys think? There is a banjo museum, a firefighter museum. Ooh. There's the Oklahoma Hall of Fame. And the one that I think looks the coolest is the Bricktown Water Taxi. What do you guys think about the water taxi? You wanna go do a water taxi? It's a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm Cassidy and if I do a good job, if I don't do a good job, I was Joey, that was Joey back there. We do have currently, according to the census, the second largest population of Native American people. I like getting right next to the fountain. Wow. 
Look at that. It looks like the water's coming right out of their buckets, huh? Isn't that cool? Echo. 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 It's going to be a pretty small one. And then a little bit this way, a little bit this way. Captain Parker, we made it work. Good job. So guys, the Bricktown Canal is very much the lifeline of the city. It connects our past with railroads and cattle and farming operations to our modern context. It's a wonderful journey to take the tour, but it also means something to us in the city. That's really what the canal is about. Being here, the focus is really on the event coming up this weekend. But for us, it's super important to try to get out and have some sort of mini family adventure every day. And the water taxi this evening was just a perfect adventure and a great way to spend time together, explore the city, and enjoy this epic sunset. Thank you so thank very you. much. That was amazing. You guys were awesome. Yeah, thank you. You were awesome. Thank you. I will be rooting yeah. for you. Great Family Adventure is brought to you by Bosch E-Bike Systems, feel the flow. NRS, born on the river, ready for whatever. And Jackson Kayak, we are Jackson Kayak. getting some training in this morning. I've got the kiddos and we're gonna check out this awesome little pump track. So, let's see what we can get after. Okay, you're doing it, you're doing it, it's all you. So now it's our second training day uh, out of five. We're gonna have five total before we're allowed to compete. For me, you know, day one was just getting used to the feature. Day two is you know, starting to think about what moves do I want to, you know, do in my competition ride. So just excited that we're here and then we all get to paddle together with family and friends. My dad's already out there. One of my training partners, Anna's already out there. So I'm just excited to get out there on the water. As far as my history with freestyle kayaking, I got into it because my dad was a competitive kayaker as a kid. I grew up living in an RV, traveling around for his competitions, and then didn't really like it at first, but when I was 12, everyone around me was so invested into kayaking, and they were so happy out on the water, and I felt like I was missing something, and shockingly, it ended up being competing in kayaking. So I learned that I like kayaking, but I also learned that I really love competing. I've been on the U.S. freestyle kayak team since I was 12 years old. I am now 32, I believe, so that's 20 years of competing and representing the U.S. freestyle kayak team. I've competed in many world championships. I've won three of them. So Team USA is not only a really strong team, but one of the cool things is that everyone here is super invested into the sport itself. So we're all just really excited about paddle sports, and it helps us perform really well. I love having the whole family together. It usually happens when there's a competition though. And the competition is my least favorite part of it. My priority for my family at a competition like this is to make sure that they know that no matter what happens, things basically stay the same. You know, they're still amazing people. They're still doing great things. They still have all of our love and support and um, life goes on. You know, you don't make the team, life goes on. You make the team, hopefully, you know, life goes on. We're lucky to be able to experience these things for better or for worse. I've always seen that as my role. I think one gift that Eric has given, at least his children, and I think other people in the sport, is that he has never put a finish line on when you stop competing or when you stop trying to be the best or when you stop being excited to get in the water. To watch that, I think, allows Emily and Nick and Dane to look forward and, and know that when it's not right for them anymore, that that will be up to them. It won't be a number. Hi, honey. <laughs> Hi. So this morning, where are we going, guys? I know. The mu museum. The museum? But what museum? We're going to go check out the science museum this morning. Who's excited? Me. Me. Here we go. Let's go, Parker. Come on, Tank. 
obviously doing homeschooling with the kids, we take any opportunity we can to visit cool museums, especially science museums, because it's really hidden schoolwork and learning with a whole bunch of fun. And the kids learn a whole bunch and really have a blast. And I don't even think they realize that we're kind of doing a little bit of schoolwork on the side. So really cool experience and loving the science museum. But well, before we do the science shop, let's check out the other stuff. You want to go check out the dinosaur? Race, you guys. You know, we homeschooled for a time, so to be able to come here and just have them fully engage in hands-on activities in such a cool venue, it's just a great morning off for me. So winning the mom role right now, and I think they're actually going to spend a couple more hours here with Grandma because everyone's just having so much fun they don't want to leave. There's space stuff, there's water stuff, there's all sorts of different science, just a ton of fun, and the kids had a blast, and so did I. You can dress up like a princess in a night. This is so tight. <laughs> Great Family Adventure is brought to you by Bosch E-Bike Systems, feel the flow. NRS, born on the river, ready for whatever. And Wiley X, go confidently. Well, here at River Sport, there's just a ton of stuff to do, but right behind where all the RVs are parked, we've got this awesome kind of adventure park. The kids have been asking about the slide since we pulled up, so we're gonna go check it out. And uh, I think some people are a little bit scared, but yeah, everybody's kind of getting together and gonna go have a ton of fun. Let's get after it. Come on. The way this works is to choose your own adventure course. So you start by going up that tan staircase, and at each level on the course, it branches off into all these obstacles that you see. All right, so sister's going up first. So it looks like uh, Parker's not quite tall enough for the high ropes course, but luckily she can do some other cool activities here, the climbing wall, the bungee stuff, and I think we still have the thumbs up for the giant slides, which she's most excited about. So yeah, thumbs up, we're still good to go. I don't necessarily classify myself as afraid of heights, but I don't enjoy being high up at all. Ah! I can't move! I don't want to move! It's so windy! Keep going, I'm right here with you. Okay? Step at one step at a time. So we're overcoming some fears up here on the high ropes course. I'm not sure who's more nervous between Tucker or Emily, but uh, the higher we go, the scarier it gets, even though we're still clipped in, but I think everybody's having a ton of fun. Yeah, I'm excited to go check out these slides too. Ton of fun over here at the River Sports Adventure Park. Not only did I make it to the top floor, but I did every level on the way up, not maybe every obstacle, but I definitely impressed myself. But I, now we're at the top, we have to go down. You excited? Yeah. Okay, hold that. Here we go. <laughs> I got this. Yeah, unbelievable. Tuck, I think you're gonna like this one. I said no. There's an, a saying that I heard once that fear is false evidence appearing real. It's taken me some time to realize that it's more up in the mind than anywhere else. And I try my best to encourage our kids to face their fears, but sometimes maybe you're just not ready. And today when we were doing the big slide, Tucker really didn't want to do it. And then I the rocks are moving very fast. They're not moving fast. There's no speed. Anything you didn't want to do. Going down. Hey, Em, What's I'll walk him down. You know, the reason he was so upset, and we later found out, is because he was worried if he didn't do the slide that his friends wouldn't hang out with him because they were all having fun doing it. So his fear itself wasn't necessarily the slide in the end. It's just the, what are the ramifications of not doing it? You know, what's going to happen if he doesn't do it? What are people going to think? Now, as soon as we got to the bottom, he's like, well, now I want to do it, Dad, and already asking to go maybe tomorrow. So we'll see if tomorrow uh, he still wants to do it or not. Yeah, it's not that bad. 
fun. Tucker, That's you're really going to love it. it. You're going to love it. I think you guys are going to like it. Once you sit on it and you look in front, you just go one step at a time, OK? One step at a time. I can go with you, OK? Put your feet in. I'm going to ride behind you. We're riding together. Yep. Tucker, deep breath. This is fun. Your mom's got you. I love you. It's easy. Woo! Is it cool? Bring this on to make it look faster. Chuck, was it cool? Yeah. You want to do it again? I don't know. <laughs> For him to go down and us to go down together was pretty special. It's really important to me that we understand that we're going to be afraid a lot in life. Like there's a lot of things, normal things, driving a car. We have to learn how to embrace that feeling and work through it. And so a slide in a safe zone like this right here at River Sports is a great way for us to approach our fears and try to work through it as a family. Team trials is tomorrow. I think I've paddled really well. I've done a lot of tricks that I'm proud of. I got close to a lot of tricks that I've been working on. I've been navigating, you know, the kids and all their friends and the things that they want to do. And yeah, who's going to make the team? So that's a really big deal. You know, not everyone here gets to represent the U.S. at the World Championships in Nottingham later this year. So I'm excited for the opportunity to do that. And I feel as ready as I'll get. So. Team Trials 2022, here we go. Great Family Adventure is brought to you by GoPro, the world's most versatile cameras. Jackson Kayak, we are Jackson Kayak. And Wiley X, go confidently. Oklahoma City at River Sports. And the ICF rules. Two of the big things here you should know is a lot of the moves need to be over 45 degrees on the cartwheel ends. And then they need to land technically in ICF within a 20 degree window. So those are the two things we're going to be looking for and focusing on. So just be aware of that when you're performing your tricks. So it's Saturday, competition day, and things are underway. Gorgeous weather, a lot of fun, and a lot of people turn out. Just uh, should be a great day. Things have been going really good so far. We've had, you know, already some drama. Who's made the team? Who hasn't? You know, nail biter for sure. My nails are shorter than they were this morning. I've judged a couple classes already. We had an obstruction in one of the pumps that caused the water level to fluctuate, so it was a lot different than what people have been training on. But we're really testing adaptability and resilience here. Because of the obstruction in the pumps, it caused the lower lake to be higher, and that simply means that it was a lot flushier and people were having a harder time staying in the feature. So in one class, we got to see Nick, plus my dad, and Dane, like all in one go. So we had all three of them in the same class competing against each other. Uh, some of them had great rides, some had okay rides, but they all made it through, so I couldn't ask for anything more. It's super fun to be able to compete with the whole family around. I'm super blessed right now to have my mom, my dad, my brothers, my grandma, my husband, my kids. So we got the whole crew out here. Just to be able to perform well in front of them and have them here to support me, win or lose, it's just a great feeling. So I just made it through the semifinals, stoked on my rides, and making it to the final round with some of these top paddlers. Now I get to go watch Emily do her finals, and fingers crossed, we'll see how she does. Former junior world champion. We're about to have the thumbs up for Emily Jackson. Go on! All right, here we go. Clock is running. Boom! Huge front loop. It's right in the link into a space Godzilla. Looks like into a split and maybe a cartwheel also. Wow, beautiful space Godzilla to the right and back to the left. Making really good use of her time. We're getting link bonuses already and there's for the McNasty. Oh yes. Oh, going for it. What you can do is like you set setting up. Beautiful ride, staying in the 
looks to me like that could be a new score to beat. Exactly what oh. And our next ride is going to be Short. Short. Double thumbs. Again. Super successful day. Everyone's through to go to the World Championships. My dad got the uh, well, last spot on the men's team, so it was a really tight competition. Uh, my brother Dane won the men's class overall. He was already going because he's the current world champion. But then for me, um, I also pulled off a win today. It was super fun for me to have the kids on the shoreline and Nick coaching, cheering me on. It's always, I'm super grateful to have that kind of family support at these events. I've always got my tribe with me. And for them to have had such a fun week leading up to this event and just watching them interact with all their friends and play along the riverbanks here at River Sports, it was just a great way to celebrate and loving the river, but also celebrate being here as a family. <laughs> Did mommy do okay? Mm -hmm. I did? How good did I do? Yeah. Were you cheering for me? We're going to go off to the award ceremony here in a minute. It's always a fun gathering of people celebrating having made the U.S. team and just celebrating that we got to spend this week together paddling and training and becoming better paddlers in the process. Thank you all for participating and also showing us how resilient Team USA is. We had challenges today. Adaptability is one of the reasons that we win the most medals, and that's the truth. And I'm so honored that you guys overcame and adapted today and represented us as best as you could. I'm very proud of you all, and thank you for making this event so easy to run. You guys are brilliant. Thank you. I don't have a voice. So I'm super stoked to see the whole family make the U.S. team. Ironically, now my family turns into my competition as I'll be going head-to-head -head against EJ and Dane in the upcoming World Championships.